Hello, my name is Mark Pimentel. I'm a CAM application specialist here at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, I'm going to show you how CAMWorks can help solve shop floor communication issues. One of the ways that we do that is using shop floor. Now, this is a separate software from the main CAMWorks software, which means you don't need a full CAMWorks license to run it. And it's the kind of software that you can run on the shop floor from a local computer, and it gives the operator the ability to do a virtual dry run of the operations. Take a look at what this program is going to do to check for the programming intent. Um, they can also check inside of the CAMWorks model, inside of shop, uh, shop floor, um, the reason for things like the stick out or the offset that you're going to set up on this part file. So overall, it's a way to convey information that would not normally be captured by the G code or the, uh, the the print that is sent out. So let's take a look at some specifics here. We're going to take a look at the part file first. So it, in this case, my example is an indexable tool. There's multiple inserts there, multiple pockets, multiple operations. There's a lot of information here that needs to be sent down to the shop floor. And normally, if we just send a print and the G code, an experienced machinist might be able to grab some information from there, but some of it might actually be lost. So let's see what this looks like inside of a shop floor. So right away you can see that they have a 3D model that they can take a look at as well. They can see all the operations there. They can even see that under this particular toolpath here, I'm actually going to overcut to achieve that tapered wall. So another aspect of shop floor is they can see the programming intent versus the original design. So these pockets are not necessarily machinable by uh, just the standard methods I'd like to use in the shop. So I'm actually going to overcut this. And now the operator can see that that is my intent there. In addition to that, they can check the stick out of certain tools. So for instance, here, there's a tap that I'm using to do these holes. If they just right click on the tap in the tools tab, they can confirm the stick out that is required there. Now, to stick out that far, they might not actually want to have to use a standard tool. Uh, they won't be able to use a standard tool. They'll have to get an extended tap, or they might want to see if they can use an extender. But will that extender fit? Well, another visual capability here that you would not get normally is the ability to do a section view. So let me show you what I'm talking about with that. So I actually can just get 